Major shakeup in the governor's administration today as a top department head steps down. Education Commissioner Penny Schwinn resigning from her position and handing the reins to someone brand new. State Capitol reporter Chris O'Brien tells us what it means now for the state moving forward. Tennessee Education Commissioner Dr. Penny Schwinn announced today she'll be stepping down. Governor Bill Lee will hand the reins over to Lizette Gonzalez-Reynolds, the Vice President of Policy for Excel in Ed, an educational nonprofit. What I know about Governor Lee is that he's very committed to improving educational outcomes in the state, as are we in the General Assembly, and I'm confident that we can work with whoever the governor designates to be the next commissioner. According to her LinkedIn, Reynolds comes from a background with no teaching experience. Do you think that that's appropriate? You know, I think that's something we're debating in Memphis around our superintendent search. Those who are in education at the highest level should have at least had some experience in the classroom. But I don't think that that negates a person from serving in this capacity. Well, I've not met the new commissioner designee uh, that uh, that has been announced. I look forward to meeting uh, her and getting to know her and, and hope that we can have a good working relationship moving forward. Excel in Ed has a policy goal of introducing more charter schools. The future commissioner herself wrote a blog post about how states should use COVID relief funding to bankroll them. I want to see that same energy for our traditional public school. Now, Senate Minority Leader Ramesh Ak Barry was quick to point out she isn't trying to write someone off before they've even come in. The main thing for me is I want to keep an open mind, uh, but at the end of the day, my number one goal is no matter where a student lives, no matter the zip code, no matter the grand division, they can go to a well-funded public school. The new commissioner will be sworn in July 1st. In Nashville, Chris O'Brien. Well, as that Reynolds has no teaching experience, we should point out she has previously worked with the U.S. Secretary of Education and the Texas Education Agency.